So why pen testing? Or why do we do a pen test? Or why, oh why? Well, there's several different reasons. First of all, you need to understand that what a pen test is. It's basically a process that helps us to identify security vulnerabilities in either our infrastructure, applications, or even systems. Now, the purpose of the test is to make sure that you're securing uh, important data from outside attackers or anybody who's not authorized to have access. So it's important to note that all a penetration test is, it's a process that we use to help us to identify vulnerabilities. Those vulnerabilities could be inside of applications or maybe they're caused by bugs of the application. We also use pen testing to look at vulnerabilities that may be created through configuration errors or even design errors at the infrastructure layer. And finally, it's really designed to give us some insight of what attackers see or looking at things from an outside perspective or even from people who don't have authorized access to the system. Now, the causes of most vulnerabilities are going to be, again, poor design or development errors as well as poor system configurations. But to be honest with you, most of them are going to come from human errors. Now, any time that we look at performing a pen test, the very, very first step that we need to go through is what we refer to as the pre-engagement, which helps us to determine different aspects of the test, the things that we will be testing. For example, we'll want to test endpoints. That would be any desktop, laptop, servers, uh, just anything that is our endpoint. We'd also want to be looking at our network, both internal and external. We're going to want to test controls as well as access to determine what could possibly be exposed. Now we should be able to answer some very basic questions after a pen test. One of them would be, how did the attack take place? What's the weakness or what was its kryptonite? And because that target got exposed, what were the resources that are at risk or that could jeopardize the company? We would also need to identify the possible magnitude of those resources being leaked. Now when we talk about possible magnitude, every single resource that could be exposed, we have to say, okay, this is mission critical. Uh, this has a bigger impact to organization. So therefore we may need to uh, adjust the way that we protect this resource. We also need to make sure that we collect any evidence and document that evidence and be able to prove what took place or how things could take place. And the next question usually comes up is, well, okay, cool, Dale, when do I actually do a pen test? Uh, once every five years. No, I'm kidding. There are actually several different types of penetration tests that you can implement. Uh, and each one of them are implemented at different times. But typically, we would say, anytime, obviously, our security devices discover some type of new attack on the network. That's a given, right? But also, anytime that we have a new network infrastructure that we're implementing, or we're moving, we're relocating to a different location, or we're expanding, anytime that we implement new updates to software, as well as systems. Now, not necessarily hardware. I mean, if I'm adding RAM to a machine, I don't necessarily need to do a pen test for that machine. Adding RAM is just going to improve performance. But obviously, software updates for the system would then put a pen test on my calendar of things to do. If obviously you're introducing new policies or programs within the company itself, that's also a great opportunity to implement pen tests to see if those new policies can be circumvented or if the new policy or program opens up another attack vector. Uh, yeah, but deal, is it really that beneficial? Uh, yeah. I mean, this is an opportunity for you to actually look at your management systems and see if there's anything that you can tweak to make them better. We're always trying to better our security. It also gives you the opportunity to, especially if you have customers and their data, to protect them and make sure that you don't end up as the latest tweet about some company that was breached. And that in turn helps to protect you from any type of financial damages. I'm actually waiting for the class action lawsuit that I'm assuming is going to happen one day when a company held responsible for making sure that they secure my information. And in the case of compliance, we can actually avoid fines. Some of those fines might be based off of government regulation as well as compliance such as like a PCI or even HIPAA for healthcare. And I know there's a plethora, <laughs> got to use the word again, um, there's a plethora 
of different compliances out there for different industries.